Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted by our graduate student and global instructors on Tuesday, August 30, 2022. Mm, this is a trade from MF. Uh, let me, so as you see, Aussie had some tests on this level, then it didn't hold and came back and is retesting this area of the support. So the macro channel is reversing and there's some money left here to be a scalp by advanced traders let me go fast forward so these are actually the channel in macro so uh, after touching the di this dynamic support uh, the price went down and you can see in five minute structural chart better as a downtrend which is a pullback of the major macro charts and one can use a smaller time frames like one minute to get some quick scalps before reaching this uh, major supports area. So that's what uh, MF did. And so this is a medium kind of risk and only one exit strategy uh, should be used. It's a strategy number one uh, for quick scalps because it's um, kind of against the main trend and also we are reaching this area which is uncertain and uh, there are buyers here professional buyers that find the price price cheap and they long the position uh, so let's see his clips uh, when it starts okay actually there's no clip and it shows that it almost reached the target so uh, thanks Emma, for sharing your trades the next one is from Ren and as you see his robot uh, that detects the first four algo detected uptrend in the 30 minute six minute and one minute charts of the s p 500 so he took long position in here uh, based on this channel and another after breakout here there's another channel going down let me draw it here so this channel this was one channel that he took position there was after breakout here he took position on this channel and after breakout here he identified this uptrend here and when the pullback completed here he entered properly with the stop loss and target everything is according to the path system so three profitable scalp using the signal that detects alignments of the three charts which is the first three algos so thank you Ren for sharing your trades and signal with us. Uh, the next uh, trades are from the Yan or Global Instructor who is trading Micro NASDAQ and as you see the structure out here. So it looks like he took a short position, didn't uh, work and exit here uh, with one stop. And then he went, to, he waited here for this pullback to be completed. And let's play his video. I think he's gonna short here now based on this channel that is accelerating. And that's seven micro as a position. And let's see the outcome of this trade. Looks like our targets reached here. So that this this was the entry and exit. So this swing was taken. Then the pullback uh, went more up, and again, looks like after coming back to this level, there's possibility that it can go further based on what we see on tick NYSC, which is the order flow of the buyers and it's negative so 
so we took this position which went all the way and reached all targets so video hangs just a second I play the rest of video uh, that was recorded live on the market so uh, most positions uh, filled with profit and ATM of Ninja Trader successfully managed the trades these are five second charts so we have to use ATM for managing the open position and turning them to break even and uh, scalping fast so as you see the price went down so far got rejected uh, at this level went back back and forth here now and it's kind of sideways but now the channel is downtrend in one minute chart um, and that could be another trade that I think uh, Jan recorded uh, did a sell short position and with quick scalp reach this target so the risk is a little high because the volatility is high pullback was very deep and strong so um, one has to be more cautious here and just go with the smaller targets and quicker scalp as Yan is doing now. So the volatility is uh, strong now. We don't recommend under this condition a novice trader trades. Now it's reaching this channel again up a static and if the sellers come that they came maybe for quick scalp one or two position is enough um, that's it um, it may reach down here but um, that's enough profit because we're getting to the sideway now and this level can hold and become a good area for going up it's okay another quick scalp that's a little bit risky uh, very sideways now so thank you Jan for sharing your trades with us uh, let's see the next one uh, next one is from Yasin who's uh, trading S&P 500 futures contract so on 15 minute charts there's a downtrend level as you see and there's a, uh, a structural chart of I think one, one or two minutes here and 240 I can see clearly ticks as an entry chart so he entered here uh, with exercise number one and exit properly here with profit uh, the next trade is from Castro our global instructor showing that he shorted the um, usually Dow Jones let me see yes as you see it's the Dow Jones uh, futures contract and he entered here at this level uh, when he saw pull back properly based on algo 4 and 5 an entry signal and reaching the first target few times bigger at this point which is now closed and this is the amount of risk initial risk that can be trailed and this is so far the target and we are close to that level so thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us Castro also shared these trades on YM as you see the downtrend channel is uh, still valid and he entered in very good area um, the uh, oversold area with proper entry and a stop and the target on this other side is waiting for this and managing the trades actively and uh, so that's good area of risk to reward he reached looks like one target here now in the next picture these are all previous trades and this is that trades that we went all the way from here to here very large profit uh, which had entry and initial risk around this much if we want to estimate this one and now the profit is this much and thanks Castro for sharing your trades with us uh, I also shared this clip uh, with the students to know that you can use pad for very quick scalps uh, similar to what 
Jan presented and I'm using five second entry chart so I'm taking advantage of temporary imbalance and waves created by high frequency trading machines and go along with that direction detecting the uh, quick trends that is formed and adding to position to a scalp with them and take profits usually 10 to 15 minutes at the beginning and another 10 to 15 minutes at the end is enough so uh, let me fast forward this video I take about 20 to 30 positions so if I go quickly on all these trades and we see that's my kind of last trades now and I, I will post this separately so anyone interested to see again application how the path for kind of quick scalps you can refer to this and uh, thanks for your attention hope these videos are useful for you and have a wonderful day